Children, grab your pillow, and parents, grab your lighter. Make yourself real cozy, because we're pulling in a lighter. It's a podcast about the fairy tales you've heard many, many times. This time will be different, because we're stoned out of our minds. So spark up a bowl, and tuck yourselves in. Once Upon a Dime is about to begin. Lean Lisa. Uh, and Lean Lisa, uh, she's got a husband named Lanky Lens, which is Lorenzo. And friends. She has friends. And she has friends. Friends are Lazy Hines and Fat Trina. Um, and they are not anything like Lanky Lens one and good. Lean Lisa. Uh, <laughs> but Lean Lisa and Lanky Lens are actually really, they're really hard workers. Like all day long, they're. They, they're working. Um, so, and Lee and Lisa makes her husband work harder than a donkey with three sacks. <clears throat> anyway, he works a lot harder than, than that donkey would. They worked all morning through all night all, for yeah. nothing. So I don't know what they did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which is unlike Lazy Hines and Fat Trina, who would, would sleep all day and have everything. stuff, have everything. <laughs> Because they had the luxury of, of resting the next evening because they worked all day. Mm-hmm. Uh, they were in bed and they were too tired to move, but they were. But not. Lisa couldn't. But they couldn't sleep. Them. Yeah, she was like, she was. Right? I guess she was. <laughs> it's a girl thing. <laughs> she poked him to wake him up and said that she had this amazing idea and that he should give her a florin. She should find a florin, they should borrow a florin, and then he should give her another florin. Yeah. <laughs> she was just like, give me, one your, give me one of your florins, and then I'm going to go get another florin, and then you give me another florin, and then I get another florin, and then I got four florins, and there's four florins that we can buy a cow. <laughs> <laughs> so then, that's, he was like, yeah, but where am I supposed to get a florin, and why am I doing all the work? He's like, I don't know where I'm supposed to get these florins, but it would be nice to have a cow. I can't wait for this cow that you're going to buy to get old enough to have a calf. Then he's going to be able to drink the milk. She said, no, the milk's not for you. I know, I know, I know, but a little bit won't hurt. Who taught you about cows? (laughs) I don't care if it won't hurt anything. We're going to save the milk for the calf. She's like, what? You always eat everything that I work so hard for. Just because you're hungry all the time. Eat everything. You think you can have my milk. But you can't. It's like, woman, shut up. And I'm going to smack you in the face. <laughs> oh, one, one of these days, the Alice. Moon. So I guess I pissed him off um, because he wants to do what he wants. He wants to drink the milk. <laughs> she went at him. She was like, she went for his hair. She was going to grab his hair, but he's all lanky. So he grabbed her arms with one hand. Pushed her head in the pillow with his other hand and kept her there until yeah, she fell sexy. asleep. <laughs> just, just go to sleep. Go to sleep. Suffocated her to sleep. That's probably why he doesn't yeah. know if she got up or went to find her for it. <laughs> the end. <laughs> no joke, that's the end. To close the chapter on this episode until we meet again. And so the story goes, we turn the page to find the end.